okay windows so recently you had the windows may 2020 update and here's one of the features better cortana conversations microsoft isn't giving up anytime soon but with every new windows update you have a new registry hack to hide cortana so with that and other registry hacks that let you remove one drive from windows explorer bing search from the start menu search and much more here are the best windows registry hacks to make your windows experience better hang on before you begin in case if you are wondering what is a registry editor registry editor is a graphic tool that lets you edit native windows os settings kernel settings etc so tweaking the registry editor in a wrong way might even cause windows to malfunction so better back up the registry entries before you do these changes finally we'll have a detailed how to on techwiser.com for your reference and yeah on a side note we are coming live this weekend to discuss contact tracing apps in india all over the world the google apple partnership to get built-in contact tracing etc so make sure you're tuned in on 17 may sunday 6 pm over and out back to the video Let's get straight to the point. How do you disable Cortana? A short backstory. Previously, Windows allowed the option to turn off Cortana, but now there's none. Although Cortana has been separated from the start menu search, but now it just lies vaguely here on the taskbar. Moreover, Cortana has become fairly restrictive now and it only uses Bing and the only way to remove it now is via the registry editor. And editing the registry entries is similar for all the hacks. Just head over to the start menu and type regedit and open it as an administrator. Or alternatively hit windows plus R and type regedit. Allow administrative privileges. On the URL bar at the top of the registry editor, paste this location displayed on the screen and hit enter. If you don't see the windows search folder, create it under windows. Just right click on the windows folder and select new key name it windows search now under windows search create a new d word 32 bit value and name it allow cortana double click on it and make sure the value is zero now we need to restart our pc because cortana settings are checked only at the startup and boom, after the startup, you don't see the Cortana icon. Done. To get it back, change the value of allow Cortana to one or just delete the registry key. Next up, if you use an app too often, it's better to have it on the right click context menu. For instance, you might use notepad, calculator or WhatsApp. So it's just a right click away. But I use this option slightly differently. In my case, I use the Chrome incognito mode too often for research purposes. Now, normally I would have to open Chrome and then open incognito mode or rather open incognito mode from the start menu here. Anyhow, it's too many clicks and this process becomes fairly easier if you have it on the right click context menu. To do that, head over to the registry editor. Again, the URL displayed on the screen and create a key under the shell folder name it whatever you want because this is what the name would be on the right click context menu in my case i name it chrome incognito now under chrome incognito create a new key and name it command click on command and you would see this default key inside it this key needs to have the application exe file location in my case i need google chrome's exe file location so just type google chrome on the start menu and select open file location Here, hold shift and right click and from the options, click on copy as path. Paste this path under the target text box and don't forget to append it with incognito because I want to open Chrome's incognito mode instead of Chrome. Now we don't need a restart for this to take effect. Just right click anywhere and you will have this Chrome incognito option. Voila. Works with any type of browser, although I didn't try it with Internet Explorer. I'm sure it should. Similarly for WhatsApp, create a WhatsApp folder and a command folder within it. Head over to the start menu to get the WhatsApp file location and paste it under the default key text box of the command folder. 
now you will have whatsapp on the right click context menu Now I don't use OneDrive too much because I am more of Google Drive dependent. I've also disabled the app startup because OneDrive randomly starts backing up folders and it's kind of annoying. So the simplest way to get rid of OneDrive is to just uninstall it. But just in case you would need it for future use, you know, just to backup Windows, you can instead hide it from the file explorer. To do that, head over to the registry editor and paste this URL. Double click on system is pinned to namespace and change the value to zero. Now, most of you like me would be using 64 bit windows. So we have to do this again, head over to this registry URL. And again, double click on system dot is pinned to namespace tree and change the value to zero. Restart your PC and you're done. Now the OneDrive folder is missing from Windows File Explorer, but hang on, you have even more menus here like this 3D objects. I have never used this. And in case you want to remove this 3D objects from the File Explorer, you can do that through registry keys. Head over to this URL. You have to delete this particular folder. Again, for the 64 bit windows, head over to this registry key URL. delete the following key. Post the restart, 3D objects is no more. Now the web results in the start menu is something no one asked for. It often collides with local file searches and in case you don't like it just like me, Microsoft doesn't allow an easy way to disable web results from the start menu search. The only way to do this is again the registry editor. Here is how the start menu search looks with and without web results side by side. To disable it, head over to the registry editor, copy and paste the following URL. Next, create a D word, name it Bing search enabled and set the value to zero. Make sure there's also a Cortana consent key. If not, create one and let the value to be zero. Next, when you restart your computer, you might or might not get the Windows web setup page and you shouldn't have web results in the start menu until the next Windows update. On a side note, if you love the web results in the start menu and use it frequently but want to switch over to Google instead of Bing, you can use the Chrome Tana Pro extension. Install it on your default browser and it will redirect all your Bing searches to Google. Now you might be aware of the arrow shake gesture. Here, have a look. When you have multiple tabs open and you just hold and shake this particular application, everything else is minimized. Similarly, you can use this gesture and even maximize the window. I have never used this gesture before and frankly, I prefer the three finger swipe rather. Now again, to disable it, head over to the registry editor, paste this URL. Now if you don't find the explorer folder, create one under windows. Under explorer, create a D word key, no window minimizing shortcuts and set the value to one this time because we want this key to be effective. Restart and you should be fine. There should be no arrow shake gesture after this. Next up, I was never a fan of the lock screen, nor here, neither on Ubuntu 20.4. It forces an additional swipe or a key press before you can enter the actual password. To disable it, again, head over to the registry editor, paste this URL. In case you don't find a personalization folder, create one and make this new D word key, no lock screen. Set the value to one, there you go. Hit the Windows plus L key and you should have the password screen instantly. Try this and you would see how comfortable it is without the lock screen. Now I don't use PowerShell a lot because I don't work with PowerShell scripts and commandlets. 
but I was fairly pissed when they started pushing PowerShell everywhere. Like for instance, if you use ADB and you want to open command prompt on a custom file location, there's no shift right click open command prompt option now. You will have to manually paste the link on the command prompt. To fix that, the process is a bit different. First, head over to this URL in the registry editor. Right click on the command folder and click on permissions. Within the permission folder, click on advanced and here, click on change to change the ownership of the command prompt. Make sure you are the local administrator and enter your own username here. And in case you don't know your name, just type who am I on command prompt. Note that this doesn't work in real life. Once done, before you click on apply, make sure you tick this checkbox, replace owner and subcontainer on objects. Again, on the permissions menu, click on administrator and make sure it has full control. Next, within the command folder, rename hide by velocity ID to show by velocity ID. Once you are done, now the shift plus right click ensures that you have an open command window here along with the PowerShell as well. And let's end this with my personal favorite. In case you do a lot of copy paste work, you have this pop-up which asks you to take action on an object. But hang on, if you don't hit this checkbox, do it for similar items, it will freaking ask you for every single file. To escape this trouble, you can force Windows to have this option checked by default. To do that, head over to the registry editor and paste this URL. Now we need to create a D word named confirmation checkbox do for all and make the value as one. Next time the checkbox will be checked by default. It helps me a lot because I copy paste a lot of files to and fro from the NAS. So here was the list. Now I have omitted a few other registry hacks because not all of them were useful. Like reverting back to the old school Windows Photo Viewer because most of us have already moved on. I use Quick Look instead of Microsoft Photos because it helps me view PSDs as well. And on that note, if you use any registry hacks like this, let us and everyone else know in the comments below. Let me also know one feature in Windows that bugs you the most. And on that note, this is Pratik signing off. See you soon.